When he started in 2015, Canada is back. That was a criticism of Harper, and Trudeau said that Canada was going to be back on the world stage. Ginny Roth is a principal with Crestview Strategies. It's a smart group of people who advise businesses and government. They know what's going on. And I want to put the question or the point to you, Ginny. All I've been reading, and I read in a lot of international press, is that Canada's economy is not only tanking among the worst in the world, but that Canada is, has lost its respect, partly because of NATO, partly because of being seen a begging of China. What's going on? Uh, I think Justin Trudeau thought he was going to change um, a, the, his foreign affairs pro approach from what we saw under Stephen Harper and that that would be popular. And because people, I think, were done with Harper, they were sort of excited about that. It turns out that's not really what they wanted, right? They, don't, they didn't want some, uh, some leader who was going to go out there and be a sort of a buffoon and dress in costumes when he traveled Oh, the, the India world. trip. And, and, yeah, and, and, and more importantly, they didn't want a Canada to completely retreat from the world stage and lose all of our influence. Like, we have to be realistic. Canada is a small country. At the end of the day, we're not going to have the influence of the United States or the UK. But we can pick our moments, and we can pick our allies, and we can um, be clear about who we're going to be good to and who we're not going to befriend. But gee, and we had muscle, though. We had muscle right. after World War II, and that's we were right. respected. Yeah. And you know, we had the peacekeepers yeah. and Pearson. And, and still, we would be invited, for instance, for the Five Eyes. And they, they're doing deals now without us, because I, either there's a big mouth in some office talking about secrets, or they say, well, Canada just can't add anything. That's right. Wait, I mean, you saw Stephen Harper standing up to Putin um, at a global summit yes. uh, not long before before the government changed. I mean, that's that's having strength on the foreign stage. Meanwhile, now you you know the Ukrainians do not feel supported by Canada. We're not arming them with the weapons that they need. We're not meeting our NATO spending uh, obligations, as you pointed out. Uh, and more importantly, it's just not clear what we stand for, right? We were the first ones to try to say we should. Um, it was great that uh, that Obama was closing up to Iran, and now look, Iran's funding. Its proxies, uh, and uh, and you have the massacre uh, in Gaza on October seventh, and so I think Canadians are craving a principled foreign policy that's realistic. We're not going to punch above our weight. We're not going to be a huge country, but we can at least stand up for what we believe in, and we can have a leadership that 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 a global other global leaders know where we stand, and that will back them up when when push comes to shove. And right now, other global leaders do not respect Canada because they don't know where we stand or what we're going to say next. And that's that's I mean that's a disgraceful situation. Yeah, I, look, voters don't vote on foreign pol on foreign fault policy generally. Um, cost of living issues are going to be import more important. I don't course, think you're going to yeah. hear about it a lot, frankly, in the election. But prime ministers still uh, do need to prioritize foreign policy. Um, they they have a role on the world stage, and I hope that if the Conservatives were to form government, you'd see something a lot more like a Stephen Harper style foreign policy, where Canada picks its moments and seeks to have influence uh, and get better outcomes for. And for the our world national knows government. where Canada stands. That's right. Which they don't know. Jimmy Roth, always a pleasure. Thank you. Three minutes. This show provides independent analysis of the issues. We are not paid by the government. And as I am finding, so much business in Canada relies upon various governments that they don't want to sponsor or advertise on a show which may become controversial, which talks about liberty, freedoms, sometimes criticizes government. I've had guests on that support the government. But people are saying, you know what? We don't want to bite the hand that feeds us, i.e. government, which is why I hope you'll subscribe and contribute to keep this show on the air.